Now it's time for Lefties Losing It. And we brought you vision of Hollywood A-lister Ben Stiller embarrassing himself a couple of weeks ago with his incoherent Kamala adoration. And it seems Ben is determined to embarrass himself more. Here he is asked why he likes Kamala Harris so much. What is it about her platform that uh, gets him excited? Have a listen to this. Quick question, why you um, came and what, what you like about Harris' platform? And just very excited about moving forward and uh, all the uh, energy and excitement that's around uh, this movement right now. So that, that's why I'm here, because uh, it's you know, time for change and it seems like it's happening. You think she'll be able to sustain the momentum post-convention? For sure. You think it's the race be, is going to be close? It's going to be close, but you know everybody's motivated to work, to work and make it happen. So, and, she's, uh, and she and Tim Waltz are just uh, incredible candidates. She's an incredible candidate. And did you hear him say it's time for change? Now, I know Hollywood stars uh, sort of exist in a parallel universe, but how divorced from reality is Ben if he's not aware that Harris is uh, in the White House, that she is part of the Biden-Harris administration? I don't know what change is seeking. Now, let's hear from the Biden-Harris administration's Commerce Secretary, Gina Romando, who says she's not familiar with the Bureau of Labor or their official statistics. When you hear that, do you potentially think that this new numbers could be a liability for this campaign? No. When I hear that, first of all, I don't believe it because I've never heard Donald Trump say anything truthful. It is, though, from the Bureau of Labor. I don't, I'm not familiar with that. Oh, dear. Now, Kamala was unleashed on some poor high school kids and listen to how she speaks to them. Again, these kids are in high school, not kindergarten. All of you, you are leaders. By the very fact that you all are here in this room, doing what you do at this incredible school, doing it as one big team, understanding all of the different parts that fit together to create a team. This is a passion with the vice president. When she speaks with kids of any age, she treats them like they're overgrown toddlers. I mean, if I talk to my son like that, he'd uh, call in the men in white coats. Uh, it's not a one-off. Have a look at this. You guys are going to see. You're going to literally see the craters on the moon with your oh, own oh, eyes. Oh, my goodness. With your own eyes. Now, Harris's VP pick, Tim Walls, is a liar. That is not in dispute. He has already lied about everything from his military record to his family's IVF journey to his... DUI record and even awards he didn't win from the Nebraska Chamber of Commerce. But could this be the most ridiculous lie yet? Remember that cringe video he and Kamala put together about his white guy tacos that are devoid of any flavour? Like I have white guy tacos and what does like that black, mean? like mayonnaise and tuna. What are you doing? Pretty much ground beef and cheese. And That's the, okay. Do yeah. you put any flavor in it? Uh, no. Oh. Um, here's the deal. <laughs> no, they said to be careful and let her know this that black pepper is the top of the spice level in Minnesota. You know. Black pepper only. He even lies about that. I mean, it's incredible. Because look at this 2016 article revealing that with his turkey taco tot hot dish. Tim Walls grabbed first place at Senator Al Franken's sixth annual Hot Dish Off. Mm, a hot dish dynasty is born, he said, after winning his third hot dish championship. Uh, what happened to flavourless, spiceless white guy tacos, Tim? Uh, that story is forgotten. Seasoned with nothing other than pepper, he told us. But let's have a look at what Walls' winning recipe included not only chilli peppers, but paprika, chilli powder, onion powder, garlic powder. Seems very flavourful to me. Is there anything this guy will not lie about? And talking about lies, here is some more fake news from MSNBC. And this is really low even for them because uh, let's, let me get this straight. On the third anniversary of the botched withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan, Biden was on the beach on an extended holiday. We had Kamala, who had no official public engagements, doing nothing other than releasing a statement. 
Both Biden and Harris were not invited to Arlington National Cemetery. The Gold Star families only wanted Donald Trump there. And though he attended, he is being attacked for that because he posed with the family members and he gave a thumbs up. I mean, this diatribe you're about to listen is absolutely gross, even by MSNBC's very low standards. But I know a lot of military veterans were very uncomfortable with the idea that Trump was there at all and that, you know, he even at one point posed for a photograph with family members with a big smile and thumbs up on their face. Now, we should note some of the family members were doing the same, but that's their right. Donald Trump, it's seemingly very strange that he would do the same. Uh, and yet, and some of these veterans were sort of just aghast that, that in, even in any way, shape or form, Arlington National Cemetery, arguably the most sacred place in our country, was being used as a backdrop for a, a political purpose. Jonathan, I looked at the same pictures that you're alluding to now and describing uh, at Arlington, taken uh, with the pres former president, and the thought rolled immediately through my mind, is nothing sacred. It's been said before, and I'm sure I'll be saying it again, you don't loathe the leftist media enough. Now, this comic knew just how to handle a lefty snowflake in the audience. Take it away, Ben Bankers. You don't like Trump? Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you not like about it? I'm just curious. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah. What about the husband? Are you allowed to have an opinion in the house? <laughs> no. What, what do you do, man? I was unemployed and I just got a new job. Maybe yeah. That does sound like a guy who would date a girl that hates Trump. <laughs> I was on the street homeless and then I found this translator. <laughs> and I get, I mean, I'm being a for fun. Like, that's why they're all here. <laughs> you guys are just dumb liberals that bought tickets to the wrong show. <laughs> And likewise, Hollywood actor and comedian Rob Schneider also put an angry lefty losing it in his place. You're mad? That's okay. There's, you know what the cool thing about in America is? Free speech isn't the speech you like. Nice stuff's not what needs to be protected. It's the stuff that you hate that needs the protection so that somebody like the government or you doesn't get to decide what everybody else gets to f hear. Okay? And you're more than welcome to ha disagree and write an act and get on stage and sell out like I just did. You know? but. <laughs> and let's end lefties losing it with some vintage work from Gigi Hadid. These days she's busy posting ugly lies about the only Jewish state, Israel. But a few years ago, she was busy mocking Melania Trump. And this performance is so humiliatingly awful that even I feel a little bit sorry for the girl. I have been working on my first impression. Oh, really? Right? Really? I have to see this. I've been working on this all week, okay, Jay? Okay, let me okay, give, let me give you space. Okay, this is my yeah. Melania Trump impression. Okay, I got, I got to get the face right. Okay. Oh dear, you know, I've had uh, migraines that were more entertaining and funnier than that. Yikes.